All right, stage two has added in ways to, uh, you know, take some load off of the engine while cruising. Well, I've actually experimented with this before as, uh, as some tape blocked off the uh, grill, portions of the grill. Come to find out that you can basically block the entire grill, even in the dead of summer, and it doesn't, it doesn't overheat. It just hangs right at 190. Um, now, as soon as you start towing something, it's a different story, but... I mean, I always leave a little bit of uh, uh, openings in it just to keep the intercooler working a bit. All right, what we've got going on here is uh, I have the boost uh, signal, you know, reference line that goes into the AFC uh, diaphragm there. Now, I've read about guys that have, you know, really tuned up trucks. They put what they call a valet switch in. Well, basically what it is is you don't get any additional uh, push on your fuel pump rack when the AFC is not getting any boost signal. So basically you're just running on less fuel. Um, it's just not getting that additional uh, hit of fuel when the boost comes in. Now surprisingly enough this isn't that bad to drive with the uh, with the boost reference cut off like that. It, turbo doesn't spool up as quick but if you really uh, lay into it it'll uh, it'll get going alright. But This is basically a way to uh, I think you know account for a little bit of a lead foot when you want to start you know getting into the boost going up a hill it uh, it defuels it a little bit for you uh, subconsciously now I noticed after doing this uh, I was on a good highway trip the EGTs definitely seemed a bit lower going up grades uh, at the same boost level so that tells me that it had to be doing something a little bit cutting out some fuel Eventually I want to get an uh, electrically uh, operated switch, like you know, an air valve, so I can shut it on and off from the cab and uh, you know, have power on demand when I want it. Well, that's what you think it is. That's the engine cooling fan. And it's been sitting in the passenger seat there for about a week. I pulled the fan out of there to uh, see if it would be worth putting an electric fan in. Now, I kind of already have the fan. Picked one up for five bucks at the local swap meet. I just gotta get all the wiring for it, but I didn't know if the uh, electric fan was gonna be a uh, good in this application. Turns out, you basically almost don't need a fan. Um, I actually got caught in uh, stop and go traffic for five miles on the interstate when it was about 80 degrees out, and she started getting a little bit warm, got up to 200, 205 degrees, uh, put the heater on, and it actually brought it back down a little bit. So we were able to hold steady with uh, with no fan in uh, gridlock traffic with just the heater running. Now granted, I was just idling along, wasn't pulling anything. And that was with the entire upper half of the grill completely blocked off. Under normal driving, there's uh, no difference in temperature. So on a recent trip, I had about 80, 85% highway for uh, 300 miles or so, and this was the uh, this is when we incorporated the uh, the no fan trick into it, along with the uh, the valley switch mod. That came out to a total of a hair over 29 miles a gallon. That's personal best so far.